Hey everybody, okay, in this assignment, I'm gonna introduce you to one of Clo's newer tools in uh, Clo 7.1, the um, parametric tool. Um, this assignment should go pretty quick, actually, and then the next one, I'm gonna have you guys um, spec measure something from your closet, so I'll get to that later. But this one I really think should take hopefully less than 10 minutes. It's designed to just introduce you to the tool so you can kind of play around with it. Um, so what I have here, you might have seen before, this is a spec sheet, point of measurement sheet, super common in the apparel industry. Um, designers will just spec out garments uh, for a general fit and then the pattern maker uses that to then draft a pattern. Um, so what Clo's new tool does is that it's designed to just type in these spec measurements and then it spits out the appropriate pattern for you, which is Sounds great. Um, it's brand new, so it only works for tops. It doesn't have it for bottoms. Um, also, I was playing around with it. It doesn't have it for extra things like hoods or pockets, so it's really just like that block basic fit. Um, so I'm giving you guys this spec measurement of a woman's t-shirt to use. And I'm actually, yeah, I'm not even really gonna make you type it in. I did save a file for you. Um, let me go ahead and pull that up real quick. Da, 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 da. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. So to do this, I opened up a female avatar and I'm gonna go, you guys cannot see my screen, it got cut off, but I'm clicking on editor and then you're gonna choose parametric pattern. Okay, here is the spec measuring sheet. Now theirs is in a particular order, which is going to be different than the order of um, the illustrator one I showed you, this one. Um, both of them actually, I think, do start with high point shoulder, but then this one goes to back high point shoulder, which is different than what is in clothes. So you kind of have to like go find the measurements and put them in the right spot, all that good stuff. Um, I don't know, just to be generous and to get you guys up and running on this tool, I did actually have them typed in for you already as well. So let me move that so you can see. So um, so this is so this is a file, a CVS file that you can actually use. So download it and going back to Clo, instead of having to type them in manually, you can say load and then say okay. And it has to be CVS file. Um, mine's in my downloads right now and t-shirt medium open okay and I believe oh the only one that's wrong is this guy actually I saved it somewhere else but this guy okay you don't have to do what I just did your file will have the right number um, okay so then what is this thing right it has all these measurements we even have a little preview here of what's happening um, so the body front saying do you want it symmetrical now of course I do, but when we do it like this, it's going to actually draw two separate patterns and it's going to think you want a seam line down the middle, which I don't. So I'm going to say half symmetry so that it does a fold line instead. Um, and then it's these are just the front body measurements. You, As far as I know, you cannot add any other measurements. This is it. Um, so you have to put them in order. Um, then we have the back body. I'm going to do the same thing, half symmetry as well. And then I'm gonna scroll, well, and I don't really like scrolling on this window because when I scroll, for instance, um, see how my numbers are changing? It scrolls through the numbers, so I don't know. So you have to be real careful when you're scrolling. I, I've just been clicking this scroll bar and not using my um, roller wheel. Okay, sleeves, they're off right now. I'm gonna check this box, now they're on. And if I don't do symmetry, it'll only draft one sleeve. So I know usually we don't want our sleeve symmetrical at the curve, but you can go in as a pattern drafter and clean that stuff up later for a better fit. Again, I think this is just a new tool. It's just designed to help you get that first basic block that then as a pattern maker, you can go in and fix things. So symmetry is clicked. And again, I had just uploaded the measurements from that illustrator sheet that I already put in order for you guys. I just wanted to do this so you guys can kind of play around. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. And now it's like, where do you want it? It's on my mouse, so I have to click where I want it. Doesn't really matter. And there we go. Now let's go look and see what's going on. Um, so what is pretty cool about this is that it came with the sew lines. That's pretty neat. And it even also like put it on our avatar too, like kind of like if it had arrangement points. So I'll hit spacebar 
And there we go. That's the shirt. Um, okay. Let's see. Now you'll notice though, again, there's not little details like the rib neck trim and all that. You would have to go in and really do more pattern drafting. This is just like a basic fit tool and it's new. So who knows, maybe in future updates, it'll do more cool things. Let's go back though to the editor, um, parametric pattern. Okay. And, um, I just wanted to show you two, uh, let's see here. Okay. It's going to make a new one, which is fine. Um, if I go and mess with this, it, it changes right before your eyes, which is, I, I don't know if that's helpful or not, but let's change the neck opening. What happens if I make it smaller? Do you see how the neck opening kind of comes in? I think what's kind of cool about this, it, if you're not very familiar with the you know POM measurements, um, maybe this can like help you just kind of see, oh, like what happens? Like what does a cross front mean? Oh, wow, that's really changing the curve of my armhole cut out, you know? So that's kind of neat to play with too, if you just want to kind of experiment with like what, what those measurements do as well. Um, so anyways, all you have to do for this assignment is actually open up the CVS file I gave you and pretty much hit the space bar on the avatar. Um, and just, yeah, go ahead and embed an image and just, um, just share your experience. What do you think of this? Do you think it'll be helpful for your future career? Um, and that's really it. All right.